Hi guys! Welcome back for another video. I miss you guys so freaking much. If you guys haven't been here in a while, you wouldn't know that I'm in the middle of a big move, so I've been uploading about once a week. That seems like doable for me, but I miss chatting with you guys and uploading three times a week. Ugh. But you know what? We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. So bear with me. Today we are going to review the Sephora Make No Mistake Foundation and Concealer Stick. So when I was at Sephora, I was immediately drawn to this because this stick foundation and concealer is 20 bucks. I mean, that sounds really good. For Sephora, you guys know, most of their stuff is pretty expensive, especially a foundation and concealer, but this is by the Sephora Collection brand, so their stuff is a little bit more, a little bit more affordable. Nowhere near drugstore prices, but you know, affordable in Sephora standards. Now I'm looking on the Sephora website right now and they have about 16 shades of this foundation and concealer stick. The one that I have right here, it's called Walnut, number 13. Now, I'm gonna just say this, on the dark to deeper skin tone range, they only have about four shades that really, you know, are kind of hitting the mark. And this one, Walnut, it is like a, they describe it as a medium tan with an olive undertone. Don't let the medium tan fool you, it's definitely in the dark range. But I found that the next shade up, which is called Teak, that one tended to be more on the red side. And since I have like a golden undertone, you know, I was like, look, this seems like the best shot that I've got. <laughs> so yeah, you know what? We're going to just see how this performs, see how it applies. And then of course, you guys know, I gotta hit you up with a wear test to see how it looks. Now, if you don't know, I have combination skin, so my T-zone is pretty oily, and the rest of my face is normal to dry depending on the time of year. So we'll see. I do have also some smile lines, and the only foundation that I feel like has dealt with that is the Fenty Beauty, but every other foundation pretty much, you know, creases around there. So, eh, we'll see how that performs in that specific area of my face. Now, this foundation is supposed to be on the medium to full coverage spectrum. So we're gonna see, I don't have like too many like acne stuff going on. I mean, I do have like a scar here. So we're gonna see if that covers it up. But you know, since I don't have like a lot of acne ever, I just have the random breakouts. I can't really assess too well how that performs, but you know, we'll just see. I'll just give you my thoughts on it in general. First off, I'm gonna prime. I've got my e.l.f. HD Mattifying Balm Primer, which I love, and I'm gonna use that for my T-zone. Then I'm gonna be going in with my Tarte Clean Slate Primer for the rest of my face. Okay, so I brought you guys just a tad bit closer so that you guys can see a little bit more detail about how this foundation applies. Now, it's been my experience that when I use stick foundations like this, basically uh, foundation brushes, like a buffing brush, are best to spread it. Um, I've tried quite a few stick foundations in the past and beauty blenders just don't cut it. So I'm gonna be using my Morphe brush. This is the M439. It's a pretty great affordable brush, does the job really well. It's nice and clean for once. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start applying this. Okay, the shade doesn't look too bad. We'll have to see what it looks like with a full face, of course. I will say that this is definitely matte. I can feel that. So I put on a very light layer of this. 
Now I will say it does blend really nice. It's not as creamy as something like the Hourglass Vanish Foundation and I think the reason why is because it's meant to have a matte finish. I definitely notice light coverage but as far as areas where I've had pigmentation I definitely need to go over it. So I'll be doing that and just I feel like it does give a really really nice finish. Of course I haven't set it. I haven't combined it with the rest of my face product. So basically these are just my initial thoughts. Now applying more over some of my pigmentation. So blending it out over those pigmented areas, I'm just starting to notice that initially when the stick goes over it, it looks like it'll cover it. But actually when you go ahead and use your brush to blend it out, I can still see some of these spots that I have like right here where I had a really like big pimple and it left quite a bit of a scar. And right here, um, I mean these are very, very minor. I will say that this foundation definitely looks like skin. It does have that nice texture and unless you're extremely oily, I can't see you having to put a lot of powder like that you know, to set it. I'm going to apply some to my neck just for good me measure. It honestly never does much for me, but eh, you know. For my concealer, I'm just hanging on to the last remnants of this Tarte Shape Tape. I really <laughs> need to go buy some more. Uh, hopefully there's enough to conceal. <laughs> Then I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty uh, blotting powder because this is pretty matte. I don't want to add a lot of powder under my eyes. To contour, I'm going to use the contour side of my Smashbox Stick Foundation. It's really good and easy to blend if you're looking for a good contouring stick. I'm gonna sweep some powder contour over that and I'm using my Tartiste and Makeup Shayla palette. And so far, it's looking really, really good. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish up the rest of my makeup, stuff that doesn't really pertain to my face, you know? And then I'm gonna come back, give you guys my first impressions, and then after that, I'll give you guys a six hour wear test. Okay guys, so I just finished my makeup. Now, okay, I know you guys are gonna ask me about what's on my lips. I use MAC uh, Lip Liner in Night Moth, and then the red is uh, Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink in Pioneer. These guys stay on for a long, 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 long time, okay? Like, I'm talking like all day into the night, you gotta scrub your lips later, but they're bomb. My first impressions about this foundation, now, here it is right here. I think that the color actually matches me pretty well. I got lucky, but I feel like there's a really big shade range between Walnut and Teak, which is more of the deeper, rich red tone. I feel like it applied really, really nicely. It blended very smoothly, and um, I feel like it is matte. Like, it does look matte on my face. But we do have to see how it wears. I can already tell I'm starting to see a little bit of some separation in my smile lines, but that's not a big surprise to me. That happens with almost all the foundations that I have. So if you're somebody with deeper smile lines, please be aware of that if that's like your pet peeve or something. I do have to say, if you have dry skin, I don't think that this stick foundation is gonna be for you because it will definitely highlight some dry spots on your skin. Even when just like sliding it on my face, it just felt dry. Um, if you're like really gung-ho about using it, then I would suggest applying like an oil to your face. Um, I know that's what a lot of people with dry skin do. They just mix their foundation with oil or apply oil beforehand. So then maybe that might work for you, but just want to give you guys a heads up. Um, I really like it. I'm loving the price point. I'm loving the way it looks on my face. I think it looks really nice. It looks really flawless. I do have to say it doesn't exactly cover like a lot of discoloration or hyperpigmentation. I think that you're definitely going to have to spot conceal or maybe even color correct if you really do have like a lot of hyperpigmentation going on. So keep that in mind, but you know, for the price, this is what I'm expecting. So 
um, yeah, I'll be back in about six hours and I will let you guys know how this foundation wears. Hey guys, so I just passed the six hour wear mark with this foundation. I'm thinking it looks pretty damn good so far. I do have a video, a quick little video that I want to show you guys of what this foundation looks like in the natural light. This was about, mm, I'd say probably like two hours into the wear. It still looks very nice. Like I said previously, this very much looks like skin. Like your skin, but better. I love that it is on the more affordable range as far as Sephora goes. I love how easily this spreads with a buffer a brush. And it's just really convenient for the girl on the go. It takes up a little bit of space in your makeup bag it's just convenient um, I love that now I do want to point out just a few things that I've noticed I do see some slight creasing in my smile lines for me that's pretty normal um, you know this is something that could very very easily be touched up by just taking your finger dabbing it in or if you have like a damp beauty blender and just fixing that really quickly I did notice that you know it wasn't quite full coverage I did see just the few hyperpigmentation spots that I have it really didn't cover it up that much I mean not that much. It, like I said, it's like your skin but better so you can still see them. If you're somebody that's looking for like a super full coverage type of thing, this is probably not it for you sis. Um, just keep on looking, keep it moving. <laughs> now I'm just going to say this because this product is fresh on my mind and I've been using it every day. I think personally that the Fenty Beauty Foundation is a lot more full coverage than this. Like I said I found that when I went to go add more to certain spots it just didn't quite cover it up. It blended out beautifully but I couldn't get more coverage in that area. So you can either remedy that by spot concealing beforehand or after whatever your makeup process is like or color correcting and I think that'll pretty much fix it but I wanted to try this alone so you guys could get a sense of you know how it performs also another concern that I had is because of the lack of shade range especially when you compare it to other brands you know for somebody like me, once I get lighter in the winter time, there really isn't another shade that I can just jump on up or down to, you know, as easily. It's like the next shade up is a completely different undertone and the next shade down is like, you know, somebody, somebody with like olive skin tone. So I'm just kind of stuck with this shade and that kind of makes me sad because I'm loving how natural this looks on me and I would love to keep wearing this into the winter time. But knowing me, you know, and if you're somebody like me, <laughs> you do get light and you're like, I'm like all different types of shades of brown all throughout the year. So I need something like a line that I can just switch back and forth through different shades, you know, but that's just me. So if you tend to stay the same color or you have your own tricks and that's not really like a big thing for you, then you won't care. <laughs> Overall, I really love this foundation. Um, I love the price point. I think Sephora could definitely have made it, you know, more expensive. I think that, um, you know, like, packaging is cool nice and sleek really easy I mean there's like very little not to like about this particular foundation I just think it looks good it's good for the everyday wear I'm going to work I'm going to school I don't need to bring out my number one holy grail foundation because I'm just trying to like keep it moving you know um and I would definitely, like once I'm out of this, I definitely want to purchase this again. It plays so nicely with the rest of my makeup products. And I was just like looking at myself like, God damn girl, you looking good. <laughs> so if you guys have tried this foundation and concealer stick, I definitely want to know what you guys think about it. Um, and if you have plans to get it, let me know if you're excited about it and all that jazz. As always, please leave any video recommendations down in the comments for me and give this a thumbs up if you found this review helpful. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.